you did. <laughs> oh shit. Uhuru family, name is Bakir Tayhembe. You are here with me now in Sianda, 15 acre piece of land that some friends of mine and I have established a nice, autonomous, sovereign place for African people to enjoy ourselves in, in the liberties of laughter and happiness and love and power and strength. Sianda is an easy Zulu term that means we are growing. We come together to figure out how to grow together in the best way that works with regards to our African values and standards. There's the need for us to establish models and examples that we can look at on a consistent basis to see what it means for us to live the way we know to live in an, in an upright way. Like we have to be responsible for ourselves, for our well-being, and make sure that we are taking care of us the way we see fit. It's important just because we need life and liberty for ourselves. You know how when we watch videos out of New Orleans, when Cash Money came in, Lil Wayne and Juvie and Baby and them, they get on, you know, the soldier rag and everybody grimacing, got a mean grill. You know what I'm saying? Because we want to be understood that we hard, that we come out of rough places, that we didn't survive rough places, and that if you get in my way, I'll kick your ass kind of thing. I'm saying I want us to be able to understand that when you come here, that you, not that you have no worries, but you come into a place where there are people who you don't need to feel like you uh, are threatened or feel like you have some need to, to guard yourself or, or attack nobody. That's, that's, that's it. It's, like I say, powerful, happy, like a lot of joy and uh, a lot of love. So this land is very, it, it moves. It's, a lot, it's, it's um, what they call it, rolling hills. Last week, I went out to Atlanta, get some work in. I was only gone for four days. I came back. Um, I planted some things. You know, I, I, didn't, I didn't plant a whole lot, but I, I, I got some things in the ground. Before I left, I didn't see not even a, a, a nod, like the melons and stuff. I get back, and I got, like, nice size melons. I got beans sprouted. Like I'm like, damn, like. Four days? Like all the time I have him, because L, my partner L, out in, in New Orleans, he, you know, he planted a little bit before me. So every time he'd be like, man, I got this growing, I got that growing. I'm get, I don't get jealous, but I'd be like, damn, man, I ain't got shit growing on mine. You know what I'm saying? And then I go, and he show it to me, look right here, look right here. I say, all right, I got you. And then I'm, you know, waiting for mine. I get back, and now I got something on mine. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, all right, I see it. So that process of being patient, not trying to conquer the land, but like really work with the land and allowing the land to work with me. That's a valuable, valuable lesson in and of itself. I am Bakir Tayyahembe, and this is Sianda. <laughs>